Greetings, welcome back to another episode of Panzer Mados Take Dating Simulator, where we are on a trip of a lifetime to a hot springs. We raised $290,000. Oh, that's sweet. 290,000 yen. <clears throat> 10,000 short, but the getting is going to be a good start to started and cover the last little bit for us so we can go on this trip. I have no idea what's about to happen. There's been so many things that I regret at this point. I'm, I'm just recounting my life as to why why I thought this would be a good idea at this point. Why? No. Oh. <clears throat> but I'm glad to know that Gary Sargent thinks that my mother really should have kissed me a few more times. So, let's go back. Let's move on ahead. Train ride is smooth and quiet for once. In fact, we might even be the only ones actually on the train. Pink girls have split off into two groups. Tiger and Panzer Force next to each other, giggling, pointing out the windows. While Sherman and Annoy's T-34 with her concert yammering. We have a saber. Uh, I have to stay with Sherman. Why? Hey, you two, my wife is in here. <clears throat> sure, sit down, everyone. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Thanks, so what are you two talking about? How's best taken? World War II. I don't see that. Most flammable, though, sure. Well, without me, you'd still be at odds with Panzer IV and Tiger. I am the product of a generation's great patriotic struggle against the evils of fascism and hatred. I'm a miracle of technological... Blah, 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 I can't hear you on the D-Day. <laughs> oh, ladies, ladies. Oh, stop. Let's let everyone decide. No. <laughs> yeah, come on, everyone. Which one of us is better? The Stug. Absolutely not. I don't want to, go, I don't want to be associated with this shirt. I I, it's a great take. Not a good personality. 54, not a good personality as well in some many locations, but at least he's a little bit less crazy than the others. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with a girlfriend. Potential girlfriend. Um, well, personally, I've always thought the train shakes valley as it enters the tunnel and all lights go dark. Looks like I might skip a rail and fly off into the mountainside. Ah! What was that? Not a clue. Uh, I still used to be inside trains. Tanks, I might be inside of them, only on top of them. You're telling me, comrade. A few months later, the lights picking back on. I don't think that should have happened. <clears throat> Whew! That was scary. I thought we were getting close. I felt like we were going to crash. Trains crash all the time. Well, I imagine if we did, it's sure and I would we'll be okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be dead. I'll be pancake. And you'd be jelly. Thanks, Sherman. Vote of confidence is great. Especially if one of us ride it on. You know, in training, they taught us to always dive towards the center of a rolling vehicle. Oh, does that keep you safer? No, it just keeps the blood off the seats. Oh, corny jokes. Corny jokes are real. That's what you're about, Erwin. You almost died twice since you've gone, since you've gone here. Yes, I have. Twice? Well, Tiger almost ran me, ran me over, I guess. Yeah, he almost took an H.E. shell to the face. That you fired, Sherman. I was just following orders. Well, I've heard that before. <laughs> All right. Right here, still drinking. <clears throat> You're lucky it's still attached. Ew, Icky. What? Sherman? I love new guy. Come on. Looks like we're here. What was that? Ew, Icky. Okay, whatever. Man, this looks awesome. You said it, new guy. I'm so excited. Well, let's go check in. <clears throat> ah. Nice. Walk into the lobby of the Onsen Hotel, and all around you, the atmosphere reflects a modern interpretation of the traditional Japanese style. The young woman behind the check-in counter smiles at you softly and gives a polite bow as your group approaches. The still, serene sound of water flows puts you at ease. 
the floor. Oh my gosh! It's it's so kawaii! Alright, <clears throat> there's three group, Christmas in unison. The little behind the counter gives you a look of understanding. <laughs> kind sir, I feel so sorry for you. A knife will be waiting for you if you ever need to use it against her. And we won't we only need to we know how to get rid we know how to get rid of bodies. Anyway. <clears throat> Is it your first time visiting us? Yes, we're the Tate School group. Oh perfect. We already have your three rooms set up and the old set is just perfect just the perfect temperature today. That's great. Let's jump off the bags and wait, the three rooms. Of course, three people with a room, like normal. Oh so I guess I'm bucking with <laughs> No. Uh-uh. I almost died last time. So far, she hasn't tried to kill me. She's been pretty nice, actually. So, yeah. But with you, that's T-34. Double creep, Irwin. From behind it, a voice. Softly filled with rage of a thousand Rift Marchers whispers. Unfortunately, not recruit. Ah! Started! God, I don't scare me like that. Do not raise your voice in the wrong set. Have you ever seen a kind of anime recruit? No, no, Sergeant. Fail. Well then, you're here for a shock recruit. Now hurry up and get your ass changed in so we can get relaxed. Right away, sir. God, that's a trip to relax? What sort of trip is this? Call the military vacation. Enjoy. <laughs> ah, poor one. You head to your side room, change your swimsuit, and wrap a towel around your waist. Shortly afterwards, you make your way down the hall. You make your way down the hallway to the onsen itself. I, I can read a little bit. It's, it's getting worse, but I can read. To the left, it leads outside, and the cold chill of the night air wafts into the hallway. Before you can reach that curtain, though, you bump into the rest of your group. Uh, God, Erwin, what are you doing here? What you're doing? What? What? I thought you were all going down the yellow set. Oh gosh, Erwin. It's not mixed bathing. Uh, yeah, it's not mixed bathing. <laughs> Why not? Is it just a hot pool? I don't know what goes on in these yellow sets. Isn't it just everyone who goes to have frolicking around the water? Ha! Erwin. Guys, be on the other side. Oh, or sorry then. Oh, we keep the total four years hot. But like, why is it? God, it's not staring. Just go to your side. Right. <clears throat> I'm making so many good points with T34 here. Make way around to the other side. Step forward. Step outside into the ocean area. It's, it's entirely empty, except for the sergeant who's already lounging in the water and full uniform. <laughs> Oh, Sergeant. Oh, what the hell. Get out in here, recruit. The water is fine. Right, Sarge. Take your towel off from stepping in. The Sergeant begins to hoot with laughter. <laughs> Damn it, recruit. Don't you know? No bathing suits in the all What do you mean, Sergeant? It's new bathing, recruit. You're in full freaking uniform. You have no right to talk to me like that, Gunny. No, wait. Was that all? Need all of them under their towels? Hell, Sarge, you're still up for a uniform, though. Recruit, watch about the uniform long enough. It just becomes a second skin. That makes absolutely no sense. You know, Recruit, those tank girls are just over that wall there. I uh, Sergeant. If I sat on your soldiers, I could probably see over. I guess I should be thankful to keep. You have to, Oh, I guess I should be thankful you kept the uniform on, Sergeant. 
That's beside the point. Do I have to order you? This is derogatory levels. So plus, I don't think that qualifies as a lawful order. I never good. Your skis are so far up your ass, I can't see you when you talk. Well, at least, at least stick your ears. Well, uh, let's at least stick our ears up to the wall and listen. Oh, I'm getting out. See you soon, recruit. I'd have all the fun myself. Right. He's such a bad influence. You get out of the hot spring and drive yourself off as you walk back down the hallway to your room and hopefully wish for a swift, swift sleep. Yeah, it's hard to pervert. How the hell did you get a teacher job anyway? Once in your room, you get changed back into your normal clothes and make your way to the lobby. Please let it be a T34. Please let it be a T34. Maybe you find one. Maybe you should find one of the girls, or try could try and find some dinner in town. I'm sure, there's something to eat, Mister Truck. Find the girls, explore the town. Well, we already know that taking T34 is already in there. But just explore the town. What do you think? Ah, let's, let's find the girls. I guess I can figure out what, what the girls have gotten themselves into. This is for the sounds of giggling and feminine laughter, and follow them to the gaggle of girls, thanks, who are cooing over the hot springs local rabbits. Ah, who's a little ball of fluff? He's so cute, it's something more like goodness. His, his ears completely through his. I can't speak. They please me greatly. Oh, what a durable bunny. Hey, everyone, it's just like to see you here. Everyone, anyway, we were just about to go to town for some fun when this little, little guy came out of the bush. Da, I was just going to go up and make him a class pet. Ooh, ooh, let's do it. I don't know. Can he? Hi, Tiger. Hi, everyone. What are you looking at? Oh, my God, buddy. Uh, that's, that's a good sign. Uh, her transmission squeals and shrieks as she tries to stop. The bunny scrambles away before anyone can stop it. No, come back. Why does no one love me? That's not true. Yo, Patrick 4, want to head out? That's kind of awkward. <laughs> hi, hi. Did you come to her room? Uh, wait, no. Come on, Target. Let's go back to our room. I'll cheer you up. What? No. Wait! Okay. You think Earl will come with us? She says as she walks away to T34. Wait! Oh, heck no. I'm not going with those two pansies. The, well, the pansy and the sure me. I'm not going with those two. No. I don't much rather go to Sport Town myself. But I'll help T34 with Tiger. I think that'd be the better option. I go with you guys. <clears throat> That's who you're with. But you don't have to hang out with us. No problem, I just wanted to make sure you are okay with the whole rabbit thing. I didn't mean to scare it off. I just got excited. I didn't want to miss seeing the cute bunny. He was pretty cute, but wraps along the dead in the woods. It's a good thing he ran, or hence before would have scooped him up, made him the class mascot. He was quite cute, though. The cutest mascot ever. And I, I scared him off. Tiger, it's fine. You've been terrifying versus free <laughs> <laughs> that's not helping. <laughs> Sorry, Tiger. Just trying to be positive. I sure wish you could have been our class pet, though. Oh, it's, a, it's okay. You think he would have been happier as a mascot? He would have been a good mascot. I'm gonna try to help her out. Right? Yes, Rabbit's belong in the woods, but she's a little sensitive, obviously, and I think he would have been good. Everyone agreed he would have been good. <clears throat> Just off in the woods. Yeah, Rabbit's could be a difficult life. He would have made a great mascot. Much great at the train station. And what? No! Wait, what? What is this development? Why is she all of a sudden going home? What? Are you that depressed? Uh, oh, Tiger. 
or sensitive or for man I hate this thing uh, not cheating not cheating at all I don't see a 254 <clears throat> hey 254 wait up huh I have a walk with you oh uh, sure it's your call which tiger, which tiger didn't feel so bad? Hmm? Without scaring off the bunny. Check it over. She has a heavy tank. They're tough. Even I will admit that. I bet she appreciates you helping, though. It's the Soviet way. Help your comrades, even the German ones. That's a good outlook. We won the war, after all. There's no more need to penalize them for their grandfather's mistakes. Huh. There's a lot to be learned from their history and culture. But they should not be penalized for something that they themselves did not do. My mother always told me that my great grandfather was a great tanker. My mom always said that dad would be there for us because he was afraid of not living up to my great grandfather's reputation. <coughs> Same sort of thing. That's silly. If you want to be a tanker, you should have been a tanker. That's just it. He would made an amazing tanker. As it was, he was a decent pilot, I think. You think? Yeah, he died when I was young, though. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, pretty sure we covered this before. It's fine, but you know what? I'm gonna stop living in my great grandfather's shadow. I'm my old man, and I'm a tanker. You can find damage to tanker. People are staring. Hmm. Rock fell into town together. It's beautiful and not too chilly. After bed, T-54 turns to you. It's wonderful weather here, huh? I'm so glad we were able to find we were able to afford it in the end. Oh, and thanks for your help. A pleasure. Here, can I ask you something? And here comes another flag. <clears throat> Let's see which one this flag goes, because every time she asks a question, it's either interrupted by Sherman, interrupted by fireworks, or I ask I asked her a stupid question. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. I hope. What do you do if you like some something, but you're not good at expressing yourself? Uh, I'm asking for a comrade. <laughs> I mean, it's a very complex question. Never mind. No, 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 no. It's fine. Fine. If you insist. I mean, I guess you just try to do little things. Like, maybe hold the door open for them. Buy them coffee. I hold the door for a lot of people. That's not special, though. You know. Well, maybe just gather your courage and just say it. If you confess to them from the heart, I'm sure they'll say yes. That, that works. I just speak from the heart. I'm sure you'll get it right. Okay. Well, I was asking because you see, Tavadish. I, Erwin, do you? Sherman? Sherman? There's a special place called the first level of hell. The Lake of Fire and Brimstone. And you belong there. Hey, you two, Granny wants us back at the springs. Gentlemen! What? T-34 storms off into town. God! Gosh dang it, seriously. Wait, T-34! Sure, we'll live next to you, casual as always. Was it something I said? No, it's just your mere presence that scars us for life. Next morning... <clears throat> All the tanks are lined up in the lobby, ready for departure at 0900 the next day. All right, recruits. All right, recruits. I hope you all enjoy yourselves out here today. Remember, you all earn this respect. You and you, recruit maggot. Thank you, Instructor Hartman. I'd also like to make an announcement. I'd also like to announce the annual Tank School Festival has been scheduled for this coming weekend. I'll be seeing you all there in your best. Why, yes, it is. Is recruit Lamar. 
and I'm ordering you to voluntarily attend. I'm so glad to be voluntold something. Oh, come on. <clears throat> oh, I can't believe Getty basically fully put on a trip out here all by himself. He was slack tanks because he sure hells, hell hates me. Anyway, Sherman and Tiger are all fluttered about the next week's festival. Sounds like a major event. Tiger went to the train station. Sounded like he was going home yesterday. Whatever. Panzer Four said it's super romantic and a great place to show a date how you feel. I gotta be honest, I can't wait. This school is nuts, but it's growing on me. Got it up here, and that's the awful officer's academy. Where did they send me here, though? You never know with the military. Hoorah! Uh, next week. So, what we have here is a classic. Rick of the Moor. Answer. Fuck, I spaced out. Um, what do I do? Circlement, ambush, reaction, envelopment. This is a classic. Circlement. Rick of the Moor. You gotta kind of pull your head out of your ass and pay attention. This, maggots, is a classic recipe for spine maggots. A German bread cracker resembling, resembling heart attack. What? How are any of those questions I have had related to heart attack? What next is welcome back in? Shut up back there. I'll go fuck your girl Lamar. I, uh, that is anyway. Don't have to be more. Now, okay, now that's clearly, he's biased. He's biased against Mills. Anyway, did you get 800 meters maximum range for question 18? Here, I got Herman Goering. What? Hey guys, what'd you guys get number 18? I got the Treaty of Versailles. What? Guys, that test was how easy. Number 18 was clearly tactics options. I wish it was the same test. I got into space. Is that just me? Shut up, Poland. What? What do you have against Poland? Oh my gosh, I feel sorry for you, girl. You look very cute. You look very cute. I don't know why the people hate you like this. That's freaking retarded. Somebody's been bothering me since day one. Oh, spit it out! I have an open book. I am not. Clearly, comrade. So, how do you eat? Ask thanks. What do you mean? Are you really that blind? Very funny. He got us. I'm not joking. It's best you don't ask too many questions, Mr. Bodish. What was that split scene? It's like, I don't know where, then all of a sudden, I don't know where we go. Oh, crap. Run away, back away slowly, make sure they're notice. Erwin! Oh, hey, I asked Dang it. Don't, dude, don't. Just back away slowly. So, that's the festival. Oh, um, dress code is semi promo. Dress to look good. Won't be too hard for you. But maybe it'd be harder for me. <sighs> yeah! I'll be waiting for it. See you later. Tomorrow night, waiting till. Well. They're all a bunch of, it's basically a girls' school, but still. We sleep, we're not saying sorry, but sleep. I think my chick is her. <laughs> Deacon Poor, it's not my fault. It is your fault. You didn't tell her that you're screwed. 
Got your uniform? You're being court martialed. What? 